Hi, my name is Jason Benjamin with Pokemon Creation, and we're doing our second safety video on the V3. Um, as you saw earlier, we did it outside where we had pushed with a stick and had gloves and face protection on. But today I'm going to do it uh, with no protection. I have my bare neck, I have no face shield, I have no gloves, I have my shirt, and uh, yeah, my neck, there's, there's nothing back there. Um, but we have this P3, which is a MOSFET version. Um, look for the P4 to come soon, which is regulated, but the MOSFET version. Um, has an atomizer right here that's wired to itself with copper wire. Um, we, we're not using cams or anything like that. It's, it's completely wired. There's very, uh, I think it's like 0 0.02 ohms, something like that. Um, and then we have this fully charged battery of, um, actually, I don't know what brand it is, but I will show you that it's fully charged. Um, but I'm going to place this on my neck and use this clamp to hold the button down so there's no way that I can, you know, fake it. So, um, here we go. So we have our two bonds here. This one's a P40, so this one has a DNA chip, and uh, please stay tuned to um, see when you can purchase one. What we're really concerned about, though, that's been causing a lot of controversy still, is the P3, which is a unregulated MOSFET version. So, to prove to you, we'll have this charger here. The battery in here is, is, uh, is naked. It has no, no wrapping on it. I don't know what kind of battery this is, but I will show you that it is fully charged. So I'll put, put that guy in there. And you should see that it's uh, fully charged at 4.2 volts on our little luck charger here. But uh, I'm going to put this mod on my neck and use this clamp, this little clamp, to hold the button down and uh, see if it blows my head off. So, like, I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to put this on my neck and uh, make it fire, just like I did in our previous video. Uh, just to prove to you guys that this thing is safe. So, without further ado, I'm going to place this thing on my neck and I'm going to use this uh, clamp right here to hold it down. And the fuse just blew. Guys, I just tried to bend this thing on my neck. <laughs> um, did the battery get hot? No, the battery did not get hot. It actually, that's warm, but uh, it blew before the battery got even hot. Um, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I never did that. But that was kind of scary, but here it is. It, uh, it did not bend. It, failed the fire after about five seconds. So, I don't know what other proof we can do to prove that this thing is safe, but, you know, everything from how the contacts are designed, this battery is impossible, literally impossible, to short on the contacts because it goes in. It does not slide on the contacts. Um, even if this battery had, did not have that little plastic ring on the front of it that protects the positive end, there is literally no way that it can short. There's no way. The only part placing it short is when you place it on your charger and you try to pull it up without pushing it back, like you saw me do earlier. Um, yeah, I, yeah, after that, like, th there's no other way. We, like, post in the comments or something to see how much, what kind of other tests we can do to, to show that it's safe, but, I, yeah, we're, we're out of ideas here. This is what we can do. So, have a good one.